Hello everyone, this is Mondan Raghavan. In previous video, we have installed the GPT-4 all and we have created the simple LLM in Python code. Now today we are going to call that LLM by using the prompt template. Before starting prompt template, we will simply understand what is prompt. Any input that you will give to the LLM will be called as a prompt. Basically, you are defining your problem statement or query in a very defined way. Here you can see the simple prompt there where you are asking main three features of Java programming language and it will be passed to the LLM. Let's execute and see the output. After a few seconds, you will be getting the output for the Java. What is Java? Java is a popular programming language and the explanation are below. Now let's start with prompt template. So let me comment this and let me uncomment this. Here, what are we going to do? Basically, we are going to use the prompt template. Before starting prompt template, we do we need the prompt template? In previous scenario, we have hard-coded the value so that we can use the same prompt again and again. But the challenge is we could not change any one of the user input. For example, I cannot look for any other programming language in case I want to do that, I need to create the new prompt for that. So for that, we are going to create the prompt template, which is one of the class inside the lang chain. As you see in the line number 17, we are going to create an instance of the prompt template and we are providing two inputs. One is input variables, a list of input variables that you are going to use in template. And next one will be the actual template. In my actual template, I'm mentioning what is then programming language. Here I can use any input value from the user. So this is just like any other template in the software so that you can reuse it multiple times with the varying inputs. Just to see the output, you can just mention prompt underscore template dot format and you can use the input variable that you mentioned in the list. Then you can send the value. Even you can create an another format like prompt template dot from template. You can directly mention the template without giving any field name and you can mention the variable inside the flower brackets. Both will give the same output, whereas sometimes you can use the input variable, sometimes you can directly mention the template itself. Based on the different need, we will be using the different template. Now coming to the chain. However, this video will focus on the prompt template. We need to just understand what is a chain. Chain is the main feature of LangChain framework where it will be chaining the inputs and outputs of the different LLMs. The beauty of LLM chains are like you can use the multiple LLMs not only specific to the any specific LLM like a GPT-4 all, even you can use the open AA, you can use the bot, you can use multiple LLMs. In order to chain the different LLMs, you will be using the chain. In simple words here, we are going to create the LLM chain instance. When you create the LLM chain instance, first of all, you need to have the LLM chain. In order to create the prompt template, you might have installed or you might have imported the prompt template from the langchain.prompts. After doing those things, what you will do is like you will create the instance of LLM chain where you will pass the LLM that you want to send and the prompt here, you will be sending the template. Once you create the chain instance, then you will be running the chain by using the run method. Now you will be passing the user input. What happens is like when you pass the user input Python to the chain.run, it will be getting into the chain. Chain has the prompt template and the prompt template goes back to here. And this needs the input programming language and your Python will be sent to that. Then what is, then the Python will be added there. Then when you run that, you will be getting the chain response. If you print that, you will be getting the output. What is Python? This output from the model. Let's execute this and see the output. Obviously we are getting some sample outputs, whereas Perl and Ruby is formatted based on the input that we are giving. Let's wait for the Python. After a few seconds, I got some hallucinations. Hallucination in the sense when LLM tries to give some different random output, which is not at all relevant to our prompt. So for that reason, I changed my prompt rather than telling simple Python, which may confuse the LLM, especially my mini LLM. I directly mentioned what is Python programming language. When I gave that fully, then it is giving the proper information about Python is the high level interpreter programming language and so on. So basically here, our motto is to understand the prompt template. 
rather than using the direct prompts, we just switch to the prompt template because we need to have the template to pass the different inputs to the LLM in the same template so that we have created the template in two different ways one is like having two parameters input variables and templates separately where input variables you will be mentioning the list of input variables and template you will be giving the actual template where the variables will be enclosed inside the flower brackets we have directly created the template by using the prompt template dot from template also where you will be giving direct the template without having any keywords then we created the instance of LLM chain. We provided two inputs. One is the actual LLM. It can be any LLM because it's a framework. So it will accept any valid LLM. Then we have given the prompt where we have already passed the prompt template. When you run the chain.run method, it will be just getting your input and passing to the template. Template will be fulfilled. Then this prompt will be sent to the LLM and whatever the LLM response will be saved into the chain response. And that's what you are seeing inside the screen here. So we have totally understood the prompt template in this. In going sessions, we will understand the different types of prompt templates and chains. This is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud. Thank you everyone.